In 2015, the Royal Bermuda Regiment began fielding the British L85A2 bullpup. Bermuda is a British overseas territory and is one of several territories to have its own British Army affiliated Home Defence Regiment. The regiment's transition to the L85A2 was completed in early 2016, with the replacement of the last Ruger Mini 14s, which had been the regiment's service rifle since 1983. If you haven't seen our earlier video looking at the Royal Bermuda Regiment's Mini 14 service rifles, please do check that out. The search for a weapon to replace the Ruger began in the 2010s, with the German HKG 36 and the US M4 both being tested. The HKG 36 was reportedly selected, but budget constraints saw the British L85A2 adopted instead. Reports suggest that 400 rifles were transferred along with 1,600 magazines, while over 400 ACOGs and red dot sites were also donated to the regiment by the British government. News reports at the time stated that the value of the donated equipment was around $1.4 million. The Bermudan L85A2s have a somewhat unique configuration. The rifles appear to have a mix of original L85A1 handguards and the HK designed conventional L85A2 plastic handguards, which were designed to be more durable. The HK A2 handguards reportedly replace the older original handguards at the unit level when they're broken. The newer style of handguard can be identified by its four rather than two hinges on its top portion, which allows access to the gas system and by a slight slope forward at the front end of the handguard. Many associate the A2 configuration with the Daniel Defence Rail 4 end, which was fitted to some L85A2s, but these were only introduced as an urgent operational requirement for operations in Afghanistan in around 2009. Interestingly, the Royal Bermuda Regiment's rifles all appear to have been provided with Trigicon ACOGs, previously most commonly seen on what became known as the Theatre Entry Standard upgrade to L85A2 rifles. These optics replace the original 4 power SUSAT or Sight Unit Small Arms Trilux, and in 2011 they were in turn replaced by the Elkan Spectre OS 4 power lightweight day sights. The Bermudan rifles have a riser Picatinny rail for mounting the optic. This was initially developed for the British Army issued Theatre Entry Standard L85A2s. The ACOG had been procured first for Special Forces use and subsequently as a wider urgent operation requirement where it was paired with L85A2s, L86A2s and the L110 FN Minimi. On top of the ACOG is a CQB red dot sight. This appears to be an early shield mini sight reflex optic housed inside a sight protector. The ACOGs donated to the Royal Bermuda Regiment probably came from surplus stores. We can see on some photos released by the regiment that the ACOGs are marked with IWLSW, indicating they were procured to be paired with the British Army's L85 individual weapon and the L86 light support weapon. Other British overseas regiments, including the Royal Gibraltar Regiment or the Falklands Islands Defence Force, are also equipped with L85A2s, but their configurations typically use older SUSATs or the newer Elkan Spectres, which suggests that the Royal Bermuda Regiment's configuration is somewhat unique. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can support the project via Patreon, we have lots of perks over there to say thank you for your support, including access to all of our videos early, and stickers, postcards, and even a copy of the Tab Advanced Combat Rifle Colouring Book. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.